hi it has been a while um sorry i haven't really uploaded <laughs> anything i had for like 2020 i had like a really good vlog plan like i was gonna go to four conventions Four conventions. Um, obviously, 2020 had a different plan. So, hello. Um, I'm not used to doing a sit down vlog with you all, but we're gonna see how this goes. I think I've done like two or three sit down vlogs because I'm mostly like. Or Edinburgh, which was like really fun, but then is it? So I had this little inspiration of this video from my favourite YouTuber, Gary C. I'm not sponsored by any of these things that you're about to see, but I will link all of them below. Um, uh, so I was inspired by this video by Mr. Gary C. and um, we're just gonna, I, I collect, if you probably realised from the, I think I've only done one Comic Con video. Oh no, I did a summer music. I collect merchandise, um, as you can tell. I collect merchandise. I realise I'm sat in front of and wearing two completely different things. Um, Like I said earlier, this is the coolest area of my room, and I'm gonna sit with it. Um, so I've got most of it here and most of it there, um, and I've got one thing that isn't official merchandise, but I'm gonna I'm gonna um, show it anyway. And uh, the other stuff is all merchandise, and I'll link to the YouTube channel below and there shop below because really really good stuff and it's really 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 cool most of it is posters I'm, i keep looking up here i've got two here and one up there i'm going to show you my photo up with the robots i mean i don't know if that counts but it's going to count for me um so we're going to dive right into it yeah <laughs> what I don't know what to start with. I'm looking around. I might start with. I'll start with my oldest pieces of merchandise that I have. They don't sell guitars, I just have one. Um, this is my oldest merchandise, and I am very upset because I realised there's, there's two holes in it, so I'm gonna have to retire it and you all can fight me, I'm not selling it or getting rid of it, I'm going to frame it because I, can you see that? Wait. so I bought this in 2012 and the detail has been excellent and it has been in the wash a lot because I wear it pretty much <laughs> I, I, I think I went a bit mad and I wore it for like two weeks when I first got it um, because it's just so lovely and the comfiest t-shirt I own this is their logo mm. um, it hasn't changed uh, and yeah it fits it still fits but there's a hole in it because I've worn it too much there's a hole in the sleeve miraculously and there's a hole yeah you can't see it but there's a hole so i'm gonna find a big frame after quarantine and i'm gonna frame it because 2012 and it still fits so that's my oldest piece of stick brown shop merchandise um, one of my oldest pieces i think this is one of the first items that i bought this and something else um, what should I go into next? 
I'll go, I'll stick with the logo. Um, it's, I didn't think this out very well, did I? Stick on. <laughs> I've had this, um, and also apologies for noise, my windows are open because it's very hot. Um, this is a very cool logo, um, sticker. One of the oldest stickers I own, and one of the ones that has held on for dear life. And my guitar, I think I got it in 2000, I got it for my birthday in 2014, I think. And I thought, they invite me to play guitar as well, so. Um, yeah, I actually, I'm not very good at guitar yet, but I am learning Shattered Stars. It's my favorite song. Well, my favourite song, I'll stop. Um, but this, like, this sticker, I think I got the same year I got the guitar. So this is pretty old as well, but it still looks brand new. And it still stays. It sticks. I did stick a <laughs> Yay. So that was my uh, stuff with the logo on it. I did have a hoodie with the logo on it, but I stood too close to a candle and the hoodie burned. I missed that hoodie. Um, talking of hoodies, I'll go next to it. I just realised I've got, I'm missing something. I don't know where it is. Anyway, not because I've got other stuff on that. Anyway. <laughs> Babbling on. Um, this is my fa- I, I, I am obsessed with hoodies. And this is my favourite hoodie. I will tell you there's some story behind that. So I've seen Paragraph for a group of people, as I said earlier, who dress up as robots. Um, and they've got like a whole backstory. Steam Paragraph fans will get that. Um, they've, got, they've got a whole backstory. Um, the person who created these robots, um, I want to list who. Bone, Rabbit, The John, Upgrade, Hatchworth, and Zero. I feel like there's been more. No, there's only been six robots. And Gigi the Giraffe. Count Gigi the Giraffe. Um, but. So. Peter A. Walter VI created the robots in 1896 um, and the company Walter Robotics. So I jumped at that. I love Walter Robotics. I jumped at the chance to get the hoodie of the Walter Robotics logo. How cool is that? This is also an old uh, hoodie of mine and it still fits me. It's still really soft and the design is still there. I think there's a design here as well. With the my location is the Walter Robotics. Don't be wrong. It's the company thing I own. It's the company hoodie I own, and I love it. Um, I think I took this to meet them in 2017 and 2018. I think I wore it in 2016 as well, but maybe I didn't. I don't. Know. Who knows? So that's. Yeah, that's that's like my favourite hoodie I have ever bought. Um in ever. And it served me very, very well. It's serving me very, very well, don't go anywhere. What are they doing? <laughs> um, I think I'll move on to wristbands now which is Bonnaroonie because I love her I keep, I realise I keep moving it because I keep having to stop Yay. Um, so I'm moving on to wristbands now I don't know if they do wristbands anymore um, I'm not sure, I think they do a wristband with their logo and I think they do a wristband with Walter Robotics I might be getting that wrong I don't think they do as bad anymore. Anyway, these these two are the first these two are the first pieces of merchandise by Steam Power Draft I ever bought. And I wore them everywhere. And then 
and then they went out of stock completely so I panicked and stopped wearing them because I, if I lost them I would basically burst into tears um, I mean I nearly cried when I found out that there was there's a hole in my t-shirt um, I don't know who's to start with so they had so to start with they had three robots and three humans and um, three humans I'm not going to remember this, I'm going to try the three humans were Michael Reed, Steve Negretti, I want to say Sam Luke, yes because I think Matt Smith was Mark Um, so I love Michael Reed. I had the honours of meeting Michael Reed in um, in uh, 2018. Yeah, because Edinburgh was 2008. Um, so I had the honours of meeting Michael Reed in 2018. Very lovely person. And uh, they did these wristbands where they had. The name, can you see it? Can, can you see it? I don't know how this focus. 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 Oh, I'm just gonna regret this. Well done, me. Well done, past me. Can you see it? Oh, there we go. It's mirrored. Anyway, well, it says Michael Reed. <laughs> and then it's just got a steam power giraffe at the, at the back. It's 100% recyclable as well, which I just noticed. Is it? Am I telling a lie? Am I telling a porky? I'm telling a lie? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It is 100% that. I, I I'm going to recycle it. And then I also got, because I mean, I claim I don't have a favourite robot, but I think it might be the spine. Not the spine. Um, <laughs> brilliant. I had the spine, and I showed focus. Yeah. focus. And <laughs> I am so annoyed that it's mirrored. Focus, focus. There we go. And I um, I showed. David Michael Bennett, who plays the spine. This was and when I first met him in 2017. He was dressed up as the spine as well. It's so after the gig, and uh, the only thing I managed to blur bur out him was I have your wristband. He looked very, very impressed with it. Um, so these two no longer in stock. They're one of the rare ones. Yay. Um, and then I got a. Um, and then. When they did Mark III, which was their third album, obviously, um, they did a uh, Mark III collector's edition, which I realise I haven't got the t-shirt with me, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to move on to the Mark III collector's edition. Bear in mind, there was a t-shirt, but I just don't remember. So they did a Mark III collector's edition, and it came in a box. Um, the box is in here, but it's got all of my robot makeup in it, and I massively don't want to take it out. Because <laughs> my cosplay drawer is very dirty. Not dirty, just messy. No, I won't do it. Um, it came in a box, and it also came with a t-shirt that said, I bought a steam power draft Mark III collector's edition, and you didn't. I don't know where that's gone, I think that's, you know, my wardrobe or in the wash. Who knows? Um, so, we're going to get into it. So, from earlier, Miss Fans, here's another. It was blue, but I wore it so much that it kind of faded. It just says, Steam Power Giraffe and then the Mark III logo. Very cool, and I stopped wearing. I think I stopped wearing it after I saw this little break because I was going to cry if this broke. 
What is going on out there? Oh, it also came with those postcards that are in my scrap. Anyway, it also came with those postcards from um, the artwork of Mark, though, which I don't think I have. I think I've got it in the other album. Oh yeah, um, it came with a USB stick with the logo on it. Focus, focusing. It, it lights up as well. Mm. Um, I actually haven't got anything on this USB stick. I just sort of have it because why not? Um, came with playing cards. Very cool. Very cool. I'd, I'd open it, but should I risk it? Do I risk it? No, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to. <laughs> Can't cut it. Oh, for God's sake. Playing cards. I just like the box, and they've got like the robots in there. Um, I think Steve and Michael Reed are in there, and Matt Smith. And. Some of the heroes. This is fun. <laughs> and then it also came with this was my first um, autographed album by them, or my first piece of autograph thing by them. But you know, after a while, I just bought a load of autographs. I can't pay attention for autograph. Um, because <laughs> I, 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 I was convinced I would never meet them, so I was like. Buy them the old cards. Met them. Um, so here's the signed edition of Mark III. I actually haven't met Hatchworth, I met Rabbit and signed, but this is what it looks like inside. There's QWERTY. Um, this has the uh, lyric page in it, and I don't remember where this copy of it is because I've already got Mark III on the CD. Because I bought it. No, it's a Christmas present. Anyway, this is the end song. There we go. Oh. And this is the disc. Is that upside down? That's upside down. <laughs> and then I'm going to attempt to take it off because there is a design there. Oh, so made a huge mistake. Inside. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was a really good buy. Oops, it is. And we will move on. Keeping the CDs, we will move on to CDs because I have all. So moving on. Oh no, I'm gonna move on to the unofficial merchandise. The only unofficial merchandise that I have. Um, my really good friend, Emily, my really good friend Emily, she um, got me the sound wave of my favourite song. Oops, the baby. The sound wave of my favourite song is the Keyring Shattered Stars. Um, it's a really good song. And it's my favourite song, and I'm too scared to put it onto a seat, onto a Keyring in case I lose it. So it's just on my Steam Power Job, so I should. I should have done a warm-up steam power giraffe shell. Yay! Only on a few merchandise. But I love I love this. This is like I was so happy when I got it on Christmas. Thank you, Emily. Cute. I got <coughs> I've got hay fever. Um the first time I've got hay fever. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the CD. Uh, they have only got... They've got five, but if you count the music from Steam World Taste, then they've got six. But this is another... I'll start with this one. Should I stop that one? Should I go from album one to... Yeah, let's go from album one. Album one. 
this wasn't the first album that I bought. I want to say I bought Mark the very first. Gifted. And then I bought the rest of them and now I can't not buy an album when they when it comes out. I am so excited. This is 1896. I cannot wait. Um, this one has 11, 11 tracks. All of the oldies but goodies. I think my favourite old one, my favourite old school one, I think, on album one. Electricity in my soul. Maybe electricity in my soul. I, just, I love it. I think it's great. And they do this. They do. I love getting the albums because I love getting the lyric page. I love flicking through the lyrics. That I think it's great. So this is the inside of the album one. And then, this is one of the lyric pages. This is album one's lyric page. It's just the artwork. It's just so, uh, I'm gonna try to pick through without breaking it or giving myself a paper cut. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> And also with this one, Brass Goggles, um, I didn't notice when I first got it, but if you look there, I think I had to That's a detail. Why did I sound like Jim before? Oh, that's so So, that's the name of page for album one. So I should have it in. And then the inside inside of album one. There. Mm. Oh God, that... Sorry, I'm noticing so much. So album one. The next album. Oops. Two century. Mm. One of I'm gonna and then there is. 16 tracks on the 2 century. One of the first songs I heard from Steam Power Draft was from the 2 century, so I'm gonna go with Honeybee being my favourite 2 century. How many times can I say that? This one, this lyric page does not come out, so that's fine. Favourite song on this one. I don't know. I like our wasp review. And then again, she said maybe it's really, really good. <laughs> There's three songs on here that make me cry. Two songs. Three songs on here that make me cry, and I refuse to listen to them. They're good, but they make me cry. Um, this is, oh, here's the lyric page. Um, this is the lyric page. I think this came from the autographed album because I listen to it. I listen to it so much. Oops. Um, <laughs> that's weird. And then this is my absolute favourite album of all time. I. I love this album so much <laughs> that I named my island on Animal Crossing New Horizons after this album. The Vice Quadrant. It's so pretty. Look at it. I love it. It takes, it's a two part. I named my island Quadrant. It is a two part. There's 28 songs. Two discs album it takes two hours to listen to it back to front i have done that so many times <laughs> my favorite song 
done that so many times. My favourite song on part one is... Oh no, Crescendo. That's a good one. That's a nice one. My favourite one on part two is... Starlight, Starshine. Because that's got... That song's got one of my... my if not my favourite lyrics. I'm not singing because I can't sing, but my favourite lyrics are I am not just a machine, I'm just a person holding on to a dream. Inside? Oops. songs and I think my favourite one on this one the back art the back cover the back art the back art the back kind of gives me nightmares I understand um I think my favourite one on this one might have to be Overdrive it's definitely Overdrive Minute page it depends yay minus my creed um <laughs> This is and this uh, I love this album. This is a really good album. Did they play any of this? I don't think they did. And then if you're counting music from Steam World Haste, which is a really good game, it's on Nintendo DS, 3DS, and Switch. I recommend the Switch version because there's a lot you can't do. In the Switch, but like you can't do in the DS version, but you can in the Switch version, and it's on sale on Nintendo Wii Shop. So get on there. Um, in the same old host, I got this one out signed, album signed. Mm -hmm. Um, 13 songs. I think my favorite is the Black Gummer. Oh, yeah, Black Um, I think my favorite one on there is Star Scrap. I don't know, but I really like the pair for boarding. We need some heroes is really good as well. There's three. <laughs> so now, that was a really long recording. So now I'm gonna be... Now we're gonna move on to posters, because I have too many posters. And my last little pieces of merchandise are posters. I've got one that isn't the same pair of drawful, but... I don't know if I will share that one. I might. Um, this one is not on their shop. Uh, this one is on Isabella the Bunny Bunny shop. I don't know if it's still being sold either, but it is. Two of my favourite pieces of artwork from Queen the Central. The Sleep People Sleep and Malfunction. I always get Sleep People Sleep and Dream Machine mixed up. They sound nothing alike, I just <laughs> um, But when I saw that she did the, she merged these two together, I literally pounced at the, at the chance of getting it because these are my two favourite pieces of artwork from an album and I already have my favourite poster up there I'm carrying it but yeah, this is really nice she signed it as well hand signed oh no the article's going to pop sorry <laughs> but yeah, yeah. it's on my magnet board at the moment it belongs on the magnet board Now I'm gonna stand, attempt to stand up. I'm 21, but my bones feel like sickly. I'm gonna attempt to stand up to show you two of my three of my other posters. Hi. Oh, we have stood up. Um, I'm not used to holding my camera like this, but yeah, the rest of my walking little. Um, 
So my two, my two, three posters. I'm going to show you the my photo op with the Purge from 2017 because it counts. Um, so this one, as I said earlier, my favourite album is Vice Quadrant. My favourite album ever is Vice Quadrant. And this is just the coolest poster. I jumped at the chance to get it. It's got all of the it's got all of the songs and all the songs and all of the heroes and stuff in it and the villains that's the walking dead. Don't care about that. I do but that's <laughs> what I'm about. Um yeah, so this is so cool. This is my favourite poster I own in my room. Thumbnail. <laughs> and we will move over here. And I'm, I'm in the model. I'm in pickle. <laughs> Athletics I'm gonna get today. Um back to saying earlier that I think my favourite my favourite robot is the spine and I got this when I went to see them in 2017. I think this is, they have like character posters, but I think this is one of the old ones. But I think it's still on, I think it's on sale. But yeah, it's got their autographs on it. Can, it, can, you, can you see the autographs? As, yeah, well, that was really bad the camera work, but. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. The spoon. No, I got this in 2019. When I met the band, that's the whole band. Wee. This is really cool, I love this. And here's me meeting the robots in 2017. That is the definition of happy. They're lovely people, I really recommend. Yeah, they're just. Is it was, it was the best day of my life. <laughs> I mean, you can see it in my face that I'm trying not to like cry. Oh, there's my Mark Zero t shirt that I told you about earlier. Neat. And, <coughs> hey, baby. and so thus concludes my Steam Powered Giraffe haul. Um, I, I, I realised I spent a lot of money over the years um but you know it is what it is i love that band there again their merchandise is like my favorite merchandise that i've ever bought in my entire life so i'm you know i will carry on buying their merchandise and going to see them whenever they come back um if they're able to i yeah so that's me sorry i haven't said anything since like December. It's been wild. Um, I hope you're all keeping well. Stay safe. Um, look after one another. And if you like more of these vlogs in the future in lockdown, um, let me know because I am open to doing it because I am open. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have some lunch now uh, and edit this and upload it. So I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves. I hope you're keeping well, keeping safe, keeping positive. We will get through this. See you soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I forgot the last one. I hate to do it, but please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll link below Steam Power Drafts YouTube channel and their shop and I'll also link below Gary C um who was the inspiration of this video because he did a video on his pin collection so why not um I'm not sponsored by either of those I just really like them so again now I'm gonna think that's all the information <laughs> stay tuned for more geeky stuff Bye.